Hi. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Lenore von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. Uh, and I'm sitting here tonight with Beth Griffith, uh, Andrew Volotowski, and Bern Nix. Uh, and this episode is about um, somebody living in the far future uh, in the year 3000. Uh, she's called Palau. But we're going to start with now with uh, what may become a folk song from the year 2013. So we're going back a thousand years. Uh, and um, Let's begin. Oppression requires no life food is not the truth. The story, uh, in the story we're telling tonight, um, the, the, is, is set in the year 3000, and the central character is, her name is Palau, and she's 210 years old, and she's looking for love, and she's going to a bunch of parties.
So in this year, 3,000 that I'm imagining, um, there are no longer any criminal enterprises of any kind. Uh, people are much more protective of one another. Uh, there's equality in plenty. There's no official injustice. There's no state-sponsored violence. There's no disinformation or, or undereducation. Uh, there's no bad housing. There's no dangerous water, poor medical care, bad neighborhoods, expensive transport. There's no malnutrition or overweight. <laughs> There's still, um, there still is loneliness, um, and that's, um, it's, it's even clearer because it's, it's not mitigated by, um, by uh, necessary alliance. And we're going to play next to new. Uh, we're going to play the same yeah. song we just played uh, one more time. One more time. Um,
People who are much younger than Palau, than the person in the story, that they, they look down on her. Uh, they treat her like she's a chair or something. And, and people that are older than her, they do the same thing too. So, so, um, so even though age is no longer an issue with activity uh, or uh, attractiveness, uh, it's still an important identifier. Uh, how old are you? Uh, who are you? Well, how old are you? Um, Palau says, I come from a difficult family. Is that why I continue uh, to search for love, or is that just what everyone does? Um, so she, she picks out her party outfits to, to, to stand out because of their shapes and their colors. They're beautiful, they're unusual combinations, and they're form-fitting. Yeah! 
Klaus says, um, I'm going to read what she says. I want to handle profound uh, sadness. Uh, I want to measure my reactions but not suppress them. Um, um, I, I, oh, here she goes on to say, I need someone who is sincere and worldly uh, considerably loosened from childhood angst.
one thing Palau can't do is, is, is she can't acknowledge everything that she knows. Uh, not, not often enough is, is what she says about it. Um, that has gotten worse as I work my way through life. As I pass through a wall, I land on another. Um, of course, you know, she's getting smarter in the process. Uh, and um, uh, Palau says, this is what I was built to do. Palau is, is worried about getting involved with someone because neither of them will know what to do with the other because they won't, they won't, they won't understand what to do. Uh, um, people at this point in history, I'm assuming, are, are violent, but not physically. Um, and even though everyone looks young, you can see it in, in their eyes, you know, you can see people's age in their eyes, their priorities change, their, 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 their brains are more cross-referenced. Cross so Palau says, how can I hide my eyes? On three, one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> 